my bow, but I smell a giant. Giant Agent Mantis, that is. This is a full care guide on the Giant Asian Mantis. giant Asian mantises. These are the ones that I sent Emily and they are in the same cubs that uh, Emily has right now. And right now he is molt three, uh, which means he's molted three times and he is also a very tiny baby. He, he really will is. get much bigger and we'll show you how big he will get in a second. And now can we see what you mean by rainbow mantises? So see, this one is more of a brownish white color. I see that, like a pinkish. Yes, you're you're really going to have to hold your hand steady, honey. There we go. I, I totally see the different colors on him. Yes. Hi, right, buddy. So yeah, cute. Yeah, got it. My little guy. And then we'll put him back. And then we'll get a bigger one. This one is in star four, which means he's molted four times. And he is a more of a white color. You totally can see he that. He is basically, I would just call him white. <laughs> he is such an amazing color. There aren't many giant Asians like this. So he he's is very, pretty very special. Rare. Really, really rare. Look at that. Can you set the, your hand down so I can get some close-ups of his eyes? And are they curious creatures or are they content to just kind of sit around and hang out? No, they explore their entire habitat. He actually needs to be upgraded into something bigger because this is only his feeding cup. Well, this is, and that's only the instar uh, three. And then yes. events, once they're in star four, they definitely need to make a move. Yes. See, he is white on his body and he is purplish pink on his legs. I see that. And honey, he molted too. I mean, he was not this light before. Yes, he, he um, just molted. And when they just molt, they are a very bright, just amazing color. They are. And their molts, they change different colors yes. too. Depending on their environment, they'll change colors so they can blend right in. So he might have maybe thought he was in a lighter home. Yeah. Like a lighter colored home. And that and that makes sense because he's in this home. And we had the Cymbidium orchid in there, which is a lighter green color. Yeah. So he may have adapted. Maybe he did. <laughs> okay, let me show you guys a different color now. Absolutely. So guys, this is more of your traditional mantis. He is green. He is, <laughs> he's reaching for the camera. I know. He might <laughs> jump on. So if okay. you guys see a leg or two, that means he just jumped onto the <laughs> camera. Uh, okay, hold your hand steady, please, honey. Um, but he is the traditional green. And that's why we also like this color. These are the most common ones. and The most common giant Asian colors. Yeah, the most colors. common yeah, giant Asian. Yeah. But it, to me, it's so amazing that a mantis can be in this, it can be the same exact species, but so many different colors. <laughs> That's why we call him the colors of the rainbow, yep. right? Yes. He's very sweet. And he still has very pretty eyes. He really does. Uh, along with his body, he has such pretty eyes, huh? So, yes, he has a really pretty eyes. Um, first, it's like silvery green. Yes. And then, yeah, let's see. like, half And he's looking it. right at you. He has, oh, <laughs> onto the <laughs> camera he goes. Okay, hi. There we go. He's on, back. he's on my hands now. Here you go. Come back. Can you get him there right? There we go. Awesome. Are they friendly and curious, honey? These are such friendly mantises. <laughs> they will walk on your hand for 10,000 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and they are just such an amazing family pet to have. So guys, I'm going to show you how we feed them. What do these guys usually have? Like in Star 3, what do they eat? Um, These guys can eat big fruit flies or a small little regular house flies. Yes, and then by the time they get to this size, what should we be feeding them? Um, they can tackle large house flies. They can also tackle green bottle flies if you have them available. Yeah. Um, but they stay in that um, uh, size range. Okay. 
What else can they have besides flies? They can also have mealworms, waxworms. Um, do not keep them on that diet though, because with wax worms, yeah, you wax mean? worms. Mealworms are fine. Yeah, mealworms are fine, but they need to have a variety of foods because just wax worms and they can get sick. And also in the wild, they would have a different variety of food. Yeah, right? one day they might get this kind of fly, another day they might get this kind of cricket. Yeah. So we definitely want to vary their diet. Yes, and if you feed them crickets, make sure you get them from a clean source. Yes. Look, Mom, I found a golden egg too. <gasps> Whoa. And here's the mantis that laid the egg. Let's see what could be inside. Oh, there is her egg. <laughs> Egg. Not scrambled eggs, your actual egg that you laid. <laughs> Mantis eggs are called Uticas. So guys, my giant ancient mantis just laid a new. Look! This is how I properly remove the egg from mess to incubate. So we're going to slowly work our thumb here under the egg. Okay. So we're gonna slowly work our thumb under the egg. Mom. But yeah, there's mom. And while doing that, we're going to push the mesh on the other side. And slowly it will and pop right off. There you go. Let's see, let's hold it. Nice. And this part, um, that doesn't really matter because there this is actually one big egg that protects a bunch of little eggs in the inside. And we can see that I did not hit any eggs uh, that are on the inside, so this oot is perfectly fine. Beautiful. What's that you're saying, Lime? Oh yes, everybody, please watch all my videos all the way through. And my dream is to show you guys all about nature so that we can preserve nature's animals and their environment. Please like, subscribe, and share, and hit the bell button so you know whenever I have new videos. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the mantis that laid the golden egg story. Now let's get back to that giant Asian mantis care video. So guys, we don't release these giant Asian mantises here. No, we wouldn't have them outside usually. Yeah, they're not native. No. But this is a female and she can't really fly. So it's okay to take her out. Because she can't really get away from us. Oop. And she is very special, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, and that, she's, she's perfectly fine. They do that because they just play dead. So that was just her playing dead. See right now? In fact. She looks dead, but she's actually just playing dead. That's completely normal. She does that almost every single day. Look at that. Just In fact, dead. yeah. It's a better view from here. Yes. There she is. She's playing dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hi. They do that all the time. <laughs> completely normal. <laughs> Come back. Come on. They're not really dead. Why do they do that play dead behavior though? Um, they do. That's it, a good example. Uh, of something so to talk about. So predators might think, oh, this is. A dead bug, I can't eat this. And yeah, because predators like to have live bugs. Alive. Yes. Come back, and then they swarm to the bottom of their habitat, <laughs> so it's very hard for me to get them out. Well, look at how gentle she is, though. She doesn't mind yeah, maybe, you gently getting her maybe out. Maybe you can go up, and then I can scoop you from here. <laughs> there we go. Ah. <laughs> now, she is really special. Yes, this yellow color is um just so rare there are not many of these in the u.s or anywhere at we all. rarely see this kind Very of like rare. yellow here can you hold her steady for me and look at the pattern on her back look at that amazing really really beautiful very very pretty now it might turn up a little dull on the camera but in real life it is absolutely amazing. So, so pretty. Let, let's see if you can see her eyes if you turn your hand okay. this way. Look at that. Wow. By the way, how does she... Oh, when you're handling her, how does she... How, can you back up a little bit? Yes. So when you're handling her, um, how does it feel? What is she, she is very gentle and calm. 
Um, she is one of my favorite mantises because she will never hurt you. No, no giant Asians will hurt very, you. Very well. They can, but they only can. in one instance. Yeah. What's that instance when they think you're a predator? So basically, if you're holding food, yeah, and kind of like wagging in front. Of yeah, they might accidentally miss and get your finger. Yes, but other than that, they're pretty gentle. I mean, look at that's those. why we always feed with. Handy dandy tongs. There you go, and we have them today. Because if they grab the tongs, this is not human flesh. Right. So, honey, do you remember the um the scientific name for these guys? Hyrodula membranacea. Right, and we want to specify that just because we have another yellow mantis from the same family, and she's completely uh, the same, <laughs> literally. And that's the shocking part. Yes, because they are a different species. They are in the same genus, but yes. they're a different species, and these two look exactly the same. Very similar. By the way, what do you mean by genus and species? What genus are they? So their genus is Hyrodula, yeah. and their species for this one is Membranacea, and the one... Uh, well, here, let's for, take the other one out while we're talking. Yeah, let's take the other one out. So guys, see how these look exactly the same, except I, oh, oh. she has a little trouble gripping. That's why I wear this glove. <laughs> she she always says that. She just plays dead a lot. Um, but she it looks exactly the same. Let but, me see. Except for this one's a little bigger. Yes, definitely. But she is just exactly the same as that one. It's amazing that they're two different species. Yeah, this I one. I mean, there's no way that they're, they're the same species. Yes, this one is Hyrodula membranacea. This and, one. Yes, that this one. one. And this one is Hyrodula venosa. Look at that. Even their wing petals have kind of a similar pattern. Yes. So we definitely can see a similarity within the yes within the genus, can't we? Yes, and do not house these together. I'm no. just taking them. I'm just putting them uh, together very cautiously because of the video. Right. Um, by the way, can, that's a good point. Can giant Asians live together? No, they cannot. They will comp They will eat each other. Yeah. Now, by the way, are these guys good eaters? While we're on the subject, they are great eaters. In fact, let me offer one some food. Oh, sounds like a plan. We have some food here. Maybe we should cover what it is that we feed them. Yeah, these so guys this... are very big, so they yes. can actually eat superworms, which, which are basically very large mealworms. Right. So, honey, what is this? This is a superworm. Right. This is actually very tiny for them to tackle. Yeah. They can tackle much bigger prey items. Right. Hi, girl. Do you want some food? Are you hungry today? You can eat this. Here, I'll move a little bit here. So it's easier for you to get. Now this is interested. Look, the mealworm is backing up. The thing is so scared. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you were looking at those raptorial arms, would you be scared? I would be horrified. <laughs> Especially I was the size of that thing. Seriously. <gasps> oh, just trying to get it. Yeah. By the way, if this mealworm wasn't, if this mealworm wasn't moving. There you go. Yeah. And she got it. Of course. If this mealworm wasn't moving, honey, would she be able to, uh, would she be interested? No, she would not. And she will quickly kill it and then start eating. Yeah. So guys, as you can see, they have huge, powerful raptorial arms, which are the two front legs that they use to catch their food. They are very strong, and they can catch their food in one-eighth of a second. <laughs> That's definitely fast. Very she fast. She's totally digging in, isn't she? Yes. Wow. Now, while she's eating, I wanted to tell you about another Your mantis. other cat. rainbow. So, this one... It's actually in here. Oh. She's staring at her <laughs> eating food. That's funny. <laughs> Do you think she's saying, let me have some, excuse me? <laughs> she's, you're going to get some. Don't worry, it's dinner time. And look, you can actually see the food going down her thorax. Yeah, right it's there. really amazing. That's why I like feeding them. <laughs> I mean, I feel sorry for the poor mealworm, but it's really awesome. <laughs> I agree. Well, I'm mantises going to have to get eat. The mantis from down here. Don't worry, you're getting food. They're getting food, Rose. So this, oh. Where's Rose? Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Yeah, I know you want to be on camera, don't you? <laughs> Whereas Emily and Ed's, or well, as Emily and Ed's snakes sometimes don't want to be on camera. <laughs> you probably see that in the captions. 
How much do you love um, Snake Discovery? I love Snake Discovery so much. Oh my gosh, she just dumped from one hand to the other. Oh, you can take the glove off. The glove yeah. was for our Vanosa yeah, girl. Yeah, she doesn't need this. Sunny, yes. Look at the aqua on her eyes. Aqua purple. That is just amazing. An amazing color to have a mantis. You want to climb onto my face? It does not hurt at all. Okay. One, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she jumped a little bit. Go on my face. Go on. Oh. <laughs> she didn't want to do that. Okay. No, okay. So, guys, while she's eating, let me show you where they come from. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Asia. Because they're called what the? The giant Asian mantis. Here, do you want to climb where you live? Rose, do you want to go back to Asia and visit your family, maybe? They're in the jungle somewhere? Oh, look at the petals on her. Amazing colors. Come here. And we call her Rose, why? Because she has an amazing rose color. So, so pretty. Do you think she'll let you show her wings? Let's see. Here, back up a little bit this way, honey. It's easier to see things against that green background. How friendly is Rose? Rose is so friendly. She's willing to do anything. By the way, they seem to have multiple wings. They do. They have four wings. Two of them will stay out like this, but the other ones will flap. Okay. Now, because they have these huge wings, can giant Asian female mantises fly? They technically can, but we call it flutter flying because they sort of glide. Oh, okay. So they, let's say it jumps off of here. Mm -hmm. It's going to go down like that, whereas a male is going to go up. Right. And we have our male mantis too. Maybe this would be a good time to show yeah. our male mantis. Okay. Rose, you can go back in there for a second. So guys, here's yet another color of the mantis rainbow. And he is inside this habitat. Yes, Why? this is a male and he is only inside here because he can fly. Um, yeah. And we don't want him flying off and be, being gone forever. No, no. And we certainly can't release them in the wild. So we no. can't have him flying off. So let's Look see. Look at that. There he is. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Okay, just bring him close to the there window. There we go. That's an uncomfortable position for me, but it works. Hey, it works for the camera. I can <laughs> see him pretty well. What color would you say he is? He is more of a silvery pink, just like Rose. Yeah, not as pink as Rose, but definitely like a silvery pink. Yes, and he can definitely fly. Yes. I'll actually show you if he'll do it. Let's see. Come on, buddy. Can you fly? He's not willing to fly right now, but believe oh, well. me, I've um, had my mom terrified <laughs> inside the house. I don't like flying bugs. Yeah. Yes, as much as I love mantises, I really, really still can't handle no, the because, big flying mantis. Yeah, because of your experience <laughs> of flying cockroaches in India. It's true. All through the monsoons, they came in. There he is. So guys, I wanted to show you that there's a physical body difference between a male and female giant Asian mantis. Ah. So see, the female here has a wider, broader, and longer body. Most definitely. She's bigger than the male, isn't she? Yeah, she, she is bigger in all dimensions. Right. And then, um, what else is different about her? Um, she uh, is also um, has a thicker, broader body. And yeah. that tells us that she is able to carry eggs right. which means she's a female so here you can see that the male has a thinner more slender body right and he is smaller in all dimensions definitely which means that he is a male he also will not eat as much because he needs to be lightweight in order to fly and find females because they fly for great distances don't they yes they will fly until they find a female and if they don't um, they're out of luck. That's <laughs> and, all I can say. Sure. And uh, do females fly a lot in search of males? No. Uh, the female will usually stay in one spot, whereas a male will fly around everywhere trying to find a female. And so how do males, male giant Asians find the females? Well, the female will produce pheromones that she releases into the air around her. Uh -huh. The male will find it and come to that area. Smart. How is she doing with her? snack yeah her Still super worm away. her super yeah. worm is completely dead <laughs> yes he's probably, definitely dead yeah without a doubt probably dead a long time ago <laughs> 
Um, are we going to now feed some of the babies? Yeah, let's And if you can show babies. how you feed the baby uh, giant Asians, yeah. and uh, what to... their food is? Yes, and just to tell everybody, mm -hmm. do not spill any feeder insects because they make a total <laughs> mess and, it, and it's just a total hassle. So do not. And they get moms really, really they upset. They do get moms very, very upset. <laughs> And because it is just a complete hassle to clean them up. So everybody, close your mealworms containers right now. Good advice. I've had that terror before. <laughs> so here I am getting ready to feed my little guys. And this is a container of house flies. Right. That we got from I'm not going to take a very good close up. So you're going to show people how we feed. So I will put the container in here. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, sometimes a few flies will escape. Right. I'm going to open it, but not all the way. And then I'm only going to stick one hand in there. Let a few flies. You have fly to be out. very quick. Let a couple of flies. Right, let out. me help you. So there's one. Go fly. Couple. Yeah. And we're done. There we go. See? You should got have flies in there. Flies. Oh. And right we there. Have a... That's okay. We've got extras. <laughs> yeah, we do. Good. We'll use them for the others. So this is one way that we feed the flies. And then yeah. did you want to show the other way, which is with the tongs? Well, let's see if he'll catch one. One's yeah. actually coming right to him. He certainly got the attention. There's a lot of flies in here. Mm -hmm. Phil had this as a nice meal. This will last him about a week. And he'll be fed again next week. Yeah. He's watching. Mm -hmm. By the way, how often do we feed these guys? He's going down. He's going down. Um, we feed them every week. He's going down and he's going to get it. He's almost got it. Come on. This is about, uh, this is the usual time they take. And he got it! <laughs> in one eighth of a second. So We'll super. play that in slow-mo right now. <laughs> so this I... is where it will be. <laughs> I thought you were trying to be slow motion yourself. No, but here Almost I am. Almost impossible slow. with you. Slow motion. <laughs> there he is, chumping away. And then we'll put that in slow motion. Okay, we'll do right our best. Right here. <laughs> All right. And, and then now I'm in slow motion. This is how a man says would never be able to catch a fly. <laughs> That's how they would never catch a fly. They need I... to go. What were you saying? Okay, so he just got a second one, so he's eating two at once. I see that. Wow. <laughs> well, that's a giant Asian mantis for you. Ooh. Come right on, there. buddy, you got the fly. Yep. Yep. And if we can yet again, we will put the slow motion of him catching that <laughs> fly right here. And honey, I can actually see it going down the thorax. That is so right there. cool. It's my favorite thing. Is when they're eating. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Here see. Here we have the let's, fly. Let's go for it. You know how to get it. Got it. Good, Good job. First try. Good job. Very nice. Nice job. Good job. This is. So yeah. this is only a feeding container. No, we would definitely not house them no, in there. This no, this is a terrible house. One, because they have no vents. Right. And two, because they have no gripping surfaces. How long so, do, we do, do we keep them in there while they're eating? They're only in here for one hour. Yeah, and yeah. then they no, go back to whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then they go back to their homes. So guys, see those two little hooks at the end of our feet and those grippy things behind it? Yeah. Those are not electrical pads or whatever <laughs> they are, like uh, crazy geckos. <laughs> but these are just little hooks that can grip onto basically anything, including glass. Yeah, this acrylic is uh, very, very yeah. slick, isn't it? It's basically And yet she glass. has no problem with it at no all. No problem. But at the same time, what do they usually put in their homes? Usually, like different things that make them happy. Yes, this is yeah. This is still her just temporary feeding home. Right. But usually they will have a mesh enclosure, yeah. and if they don't, um, we mesh will... homes like this one yes. and that one. And if they don't, we will hot glue um a mesh to the top mm -hmm. up here, 
so that they have a place to grip. They right. will always have a safe place to grip and mold. Yes, it's important that they mold where they're gripping really well. Yes, because if they can't grip and they're in the middle of a mold, they're going to fall down and bad things happen. Yeah, agreed. By the way, we also have our mister out here. Yeah, let's see. What is that here? Yes, this What's mister that um, we found on Amazon. And <laughs> We love this yes, mister. And it turns Extra on fine. and gives a very fine mist. So By the way, what kind of water do we use? Distilled. Distilled yes. or reverse osmosis. And why are we spraying her with water? Are we being mean to her? No, we're just giving her some water to drink. Now, for babies, you don't want to spray them that much. But for big ones like this, they can drink uh, all of it. Because if they're tiny, they will actually drown in the water. Yes. We can't overspray if they're smaller nymphs. Yes, because right? if they're smaller nymphs, all you have to do... Here, I'll just do it here on the table. Okay, just one second, honey. Okay. So, honey, what is she chewing with right there? She's using her mandibles. Mandibles are her five teeth that um, are able to chew any bugs, even uh, bugs with hard exoskeletons. Ah. Um, and for babies, you only want to miss them this much. Okay, let's show you. Very okay. lightly. That's all they Very need. Very light. That's yes. all babies need. Um, baby nymphs. By the way, why is it important to miss them every day? Um, because they need water every single day, yeah. just like us. You can right. do it up to two times a day. Mm -hmm. Um, three times it works too, but you have to stay in that area. Yeah. Otherwise, there will be too much humidity. Mold will start growing. Oh, hold growing. on. Yes, mold does grow if there's yes. too much humidity. Yes. Which is why we like having them in the mesh. Yeah. So, honey, do these guys need like a ton of humidity? No, they don't need a ton, but they need to stay around 40 to 60 percent. Right. There's <laughs> Rose saying hi. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. So, girl, did you have a good meal? Yeah, you must have. That super worm was probably really good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you want to tell people about um, the temperature we keep them at? Oh, yes. We keep them anywhere from 75 to 85 degrees. Yeah. They can withstand a few warmer temperatures. Yeah. What is she doing with those arms? Waving. <laughs> wave. Wave. Come on, wave, Sunflower. <laughs> wave. I forgot to mention her name is Sunflower. I know we have another Halvia named Sunflower, but I'm just going to name them both Sunflower. If they're all yellow, you're yeah. naming every single one Sunflower? Yes. Okay. Was she dancing just now? Dance. Do they dance? They do dance. Uh, in the wild, they want to look like a leaf or whatever surface they're on. So they'll go back and forth and sway in the wind. What are you guys doing? We're drawing. Were you drawing patterns in the water? Oh. oh. <laughs> Oops. You always do that. She made me jump when she did that. Yeah, unexpected. Anyway, but they will not hurt you. No. <laughs> anyway, um, finger painting action going on. <laughs> With water? Yeah, as it is. <laughs> Video. Oh yeah, so you got the idea to gently do that with her. By the way, you're holding her very gently. Let's show yeah. people what the correct way to hold a mantis. Yes, it looks uh, much more um, uh, it looks much more firm than it actually is. Yeah. So how do you hold a praying mantis? So if you um, just really need to hold them, you hold them right about there. Okay, can I see? Because that's the place where they will not be hurt. Yeah, very lightly, right? Yeah. And if possible, I think, I see you always support them with your other hand so they have a very place to grip and feel secure. Yes. So guys, look at Rose's eyes. They're just like a tie-dye mantis. All those different colors here. Hold, hold steady so I can get a close-up. And the real tie-dye mantis. Okay, hold your, hold your hands. Hold your hands steady. There she looking. So, um, that's about it for today's <laughs> video. Well, look, honey, before we sign off, tell people what it feels like to hold a, a giant Asian mantis. Well, um... Because they have pretty big raptorial arms. Yes, when they're babies, they're perfectly fine. They're not going to hurt you, and you can't even feel them on your hand. No. But when they're adults, you will feel them on your hand. Right. But they will not hurt you at all as long as you respect them, and they will respect you. That's a beautiful way of putting things. <laughs> so, thank you for watching Luke's Book Adventures, and remember, every day's new adventure day... Bye! Hi, Rose. Yeah, I know. You told everybody to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe! <laughs>